Hello and welcome. Uh, today is Wednesday, January 19th, 2011. Uh, this is our Live Unstuck moment for today. And really, it's uh, an interesting topic. I've decided to spend the next uh, few Live Unstuck moments talking about books that have been uh, powerful for me and important in, in my journey, for sure, as I try to live unstuck on an ongoing basis. And a book that I have um, actually comes back a few years ago. It's, uh, it's called Stopping, How to Be Still When You Have to Keep going. And it's an interesting topic uh, for sure because in today's world we definitely tend to be over scheduled. We tend to have something to do minute after minute after minute. I can't tell you the number of people I talk to on an ongoing basis when they say I'm just meeting out. Uh, by the time they reach the end of the day they're just grumpy. They're ready to be finished. Uh, a couple of glasses of wine later maybe and things are okay. But uh, part of the problem is that uh, we just tend to try to cram everything we can in, and then there's nothing left in between. So the basic premise for this book is that there's an opportunity to find quiet time all the time. It's just a matter of being intentional about it. So I've, I've um, internalized this book. I've, I've been using uh, the concepts in this book for the last 10 or 12 years when I read it for the first time. Because I'm one of those people that tends to want to do everything all the time. So here's some, here's some ideas that come from the book. First, um, you can find quiet time whenever you're looking for it. So one of the things that I started doing uh, years ago and continue to this day is I almost never listen to the radio in my car. When I'm in my car, I like it to be quiet. And I can be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> Working on those too as I'm talking to the other drivers that are around me. But... I don't have to listen to talk radio. I don't have to listen to somebody constantly barraging me with messages and, and advertising and things to think about. I can, I can use that quiet time when I'm driving for my own thoughts. So that's one idea. And another one that I've, I've used over the years that came from this book has to do with why do we schedule meetings that last an hour? Um, sometimes we need an hour. We need the time to be able to go for 60 minutes. Well, if that's the case, then what I do is I schedule my hour meetings with a 15 minute uh, break in between. So if I'm scheduling a meeting at nine, my next meeting will start at 10.15. Uh, I need that time in between. I use it for uh, biological purposes. I use it to check email. I use it just to sit quietly for 30 seconds and collect my thoughts. So rather than scheduling uh, meetings at nine and then at 10 and then at 11 and so on, and and run from one to the next and try to grab lunch in between, uh, be intentional about scheduling 45 minute meetings and then you can have your meetings on the hour or schedule 50 minute meetings. I, I'm a big believer that we can get the same amount done in 50 minutes than we can in 60. So there's a couple of ideas for you to think about as it uh, re relates to living unstuck. Uh, find some quiet time even in the middle of a hectic day. Turn off the radio in your car Schedule 5, 10, 15 minutes between each of your meetings and do something for yourself. Just be still. So the book again is called Stopping, How to Be Still When You Have to Keep Going. I hope you enjoy it. This is our Live Unstuck moment for today. Thanks for stopping by.